about 20-ish years ago, when I had been considering a change in career. I wasn't clear what direction was compelling yet, but after purchasing some tools and silver for a daughter to experiment with herself, I took some interest when she wasn't. I took my first class and the rest is history. Since that first class, I'm largely self-taught. However, I've since added workshops and classes by world caliber jewelers, and it's always about the learning and experimenting for me. Having started with non-traditional wire wrapping and beading, I became interested in other techniques, such as precious metal clay, fold forming, hand fabrication, and all different forms of casting. Most people know about wax casting, but did you know that you can also cast with water, sand, or straw? The water and the straw give amazing random organic results, while the wax and sand create a more structured form. I lean toward different types of hand fabrication because it's fascinating to me how a two-dimensional piece of metal can be transformed into a three-dimensional form simply by using tools such as hammers, pliers, and fire. It's really rewarding to watch the process and the piece come to light. Creating in this medium is special to me, and so is our environment. Jewelry making can be toxic. A lot of acids and chemicals are used. So when I got into this, I wanted to protect our earth as well as I'm able. Ordinary mining can poison an entire community's water supply. Because of this, I choose to use recycled sterling silver. It's called Argentium. My shop uses products like salt and vinegar in place of cleaning chemicals. The solder doesn't create poisonous fumes, although it's still not healthy to breathe. And I responsibly source my stones through small businesses, so I know no huge strip mining is being done. Creating in any form is stimulating and rewarding, and for me, that is creating with metal.